Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a really simple tutorial on how to put wigs or weaves, whatever you guys want to call it, on your Roblox avatar without having any issues like looking really strange with like black stripes and just not rendering right. So first off, we're going to be in Roblox Studio. If you don't know how to import and export your Roblox character yet or make a basic GFX, please watch my earlier tutorial on how to make a gfx for beginners the link will be down in the description so here we have my weave or wig or hair whatever you guys want to call it next to my roblox avatar to get hair just look up wig weave hair in the search category under toolbox so next we're going to export both of these items my character and the hair so we're going to highlight it and then we're going to click and export so next we're going to be in Blender. So this part is really simple um, and all you need to do to make your hair look better is go to, to the top, press Blender Render, and then go down to Cycles Render. After this, you can import your Roblox character. Make sure to change the settings to Cycle Render before you import your Roblox avatar or it won't work. So as soon as you import it, it's just going to be white. All you have to do to make it have color is go down to this little white snowball, click it, and press material. So by changing your settings to cycle render, it's going to look a bit different on this side over here. So you're going to go over to the world, the little world icon, and press ambient inclusion. Doing this, it makes your GFX look a bit brighter and better looking. So now I'm just going to put the hair on top of her head and delete my old hair. Okay, so I think this looks good. Now we have to go to view, camera, and adjust it to how you want it. I personally like changing the resolution to 1000. In this case, don't change it to 10,000 or else it will take forever to render because Cycles Render takes a bit longer than rendering it normally. Okay, and now I have it ready and we're gonna press render. Okay, now it's all rendered and you can export your avatar. So a few tips of advice if you want to learn more is to make your image transparent instead of having a background. Scroll down under camera until you see transparent. It's under film. Click that and your background will automatically be transparent. Another tip of advice to change the background color is to go to world, press this little gray thing. It looks gray at the moment. And then you can change your color you can also press the little like dropper thing and select the color you want from the screen or you can choose your own color by moving your mouse around on this pad. Anyways guys, I hope this tutorial helped. If you have any more ideas for tutorials I should do in the future, just let me know in the comments below. I will be doing an animation tutorial in the future too, so look for that. Anyways, I love my beautiful bubbles so much and I'll see y'all later. Bye!